वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह टू ऑल ऑफ द संगत हु इज जॉइनिंग अस ऑन सीकनेट्स फेसबुक लाइव टुडे इट इज एन ऑनर एंड अ प्रिविलेज टू बी आस्क्ड टू डू दिस सेवा फॉर दोस ऑफ यू हु नो मी एंड फॉर दोस ऑफ यू हु डोंट माय नेम इज हार्नर आयन सिंह and i live in calgary alberta canada and i'm not a professional musician by any means not a professional kirtani by any means so i want to start off right up off the bat by saying that this is such a blessing of the sri guru granth sahib ji and akal purakh waheguru to have this opportunity because it is such a unique time that we are in where as a congregation as sangat we are unable to attend gurdwara programs and be together to do simran kirtan and seva as sangat as a congregation so it's such a a weird time you could say as well as unique in the world and it is a great honor to be a part of this i've had two passions in my life since i was a kid and one of them is hockey and as some of you may know i am an nhl broadcaster with hockey night in canada omni tv in punjabi and sometimes as well on the english side in canada my other passion since i was growing up thanks to my parents who instilled this passion in me is kirtan and since i was at the tender age of 2 3 4 years old i used to start it off by sitting in my dad's lap uh playing tabla on his knees eventually learning my first shabad from my mom and then had the opportunity to spend time with a lot of saints mahapurush and other kirtanis where i was able to learn from them and this passion continued to grow and you know i often reflect that kirtan for me is the anchor in my life it's what really tied me to my faith and had it not been for kirtan for this passion for harmonium for vajja and tabla and kirtan i wouldn't have been as connected to gurbani as i am in my life now and so today it is uh i feel very excited to be doing kirtan on seeknet's facebook live and i've been watching the previous days it's been great to see uh that this is happening every morning and evening from wherever you are in the world uh there's people watching throughout the planet which is amazing and one of the things i would like to do today is uh please let us know where you're watching from i'm going to be uh, as well uh looking at comments and and seeing uh where you're watching from and i'd love to uh i'd love to know where you're from and who is watching and uh also please let us know if there's any issues with the sound as well if the vajja is too loud the vocals if there's any distortion if the tabla or the tanpura is too loud or too low or if there's any sort of um uh dropping of the signal or anything like that any technical issue please do let us know and then we will try to fix that as soon as possible so once again i want to begin with Simran and Kirtan today and the subject is praying for humanity because when we come together as a congregation as sangat the power of our prayer the power of our loss it increases it increases tenfold a thousandfold just as many of our the vibration that we create as sangat and you know when you go to gurdwara and you sit and listen to kirtan together that atmosphere that's created uh it sometimes leaves you speechless the power of gurbani the power of us connecting together through prayer through meditation through simran through chanting it is so powerful and whereas we're not able to do that together because of the physical distancing i would really like to request everyone who is participating from around the world today Um we're getting some uh messages here too so this is great. I've got uh Manpreet Kaur from Toronto and her family Neelam Kaur from Calgary. 
Uh, we've got some pe other uh, Calgarians from USA by Otham Singh from Yuba City. Looks like we've got uh, people watching now from Om Dr. Omkar Singh from Ontario. Um, so thank you. So in uh, Sikhnet, uh, Hari Jodh Singh is telling me everything sounds good. So that's great as well. Uh, that's, that's fantastic. We've got England. We've got Colorado. Uh, we've got people from all over North America. And eventually, it uh, looks like we have someone from Estonia as well. That is amazing. So I'm, I'm really glad to see that uh, we are joining as a congregation, as Sangat. And uh, please continue to tell us where you're watching from. Please continue to let us know um, what your thoughts are. And so today I'm really excited once again to share with you one of my passions in my life, which is Kirtan. And I'm going to begin with Simran. Gurbani teaches us in Sukhmani Sahib, Sri Guru Arjan Dev Ji tells us, Prabhuka Simran Sabte Ucha. It is the highest form of action that you can take in your life, remembering, chanting, meditating on Waheguru, the creator that has give, given us everything. And it's such a unique time that we're in because there is anxiety, there is worry about what the future will hold. But this time has really shown us that, you know, maybe we can live with less. It's also a gift in a way because it's, it's, it's taught us to kind of just take a step back and maybe look at what really matters in life, spend some more time with our family, spend some more time connecting with Waheguru and, and Satguru. And today, broadcasting live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, we are, I'm also sitting in this presence of the Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji. So, I'm going to begin with an Ardaas Tan Tan Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, Aap Ji Di Kirpa Sadaqa Hai Mokka Milea Hai Kirtan Karanda Seva Karanda Aape Seva Laen Aape Baksh Kare Sab Naka Maapyo Aap Hai Aape Saar Kare so he blesses us with this seva. And so let's start off with some Simran. Because Gurbani tells us almost in every single Shabad that you would read from, from the Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, it talks about Bhagti, Teona, Naam Japna, Simran. And it's very important. So let's, let's begin with Simran. I would like to request everyone to please close your eyes and let's all connect together. Through the power of Shabad and Gurbani and Naam. Why Guru? Why Guru? Why Guru? Why Guru? Why Guru? Why Guru? Vai Guru, 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 Vai Vai Guru, 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 V
Guru, Rai 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 You know, because of this coronavirus that is going on across the planet, as I was mentioning before, it's a very unique time for the entire world, for humanity. It has really forced all of us to slow down and reflect on what matters in life. And, uh, you know, we can look at it glass half empty or we can look at it glass half full. And, you know, when you're trying to find positives in this, it's kind of funny, like, I, I often use hockey analogies uh, to when I talk about life as well. And maybe this is a time to recharge for us. And one of the things I was discussing with my wife, Sukhjit, just during the past few days is, she was like, you know, when, when the Stanley Cup playoffs re resume and whoever wins the Stanley Cup this year, that team who wins, it's not going to be the same. There's going to be this asterisk there and it's going to be like, oh, this was, you know, the shortened season because of coronavirus. And, you know, it's not really winning the Stanley Cup had it been a full regular season and the full meal deal. And, and I said back to her, you know what? Actually, I'm looking at it a different way because winning the Stanley Cup this season when the season does resume, and I hope it does, it'll actually be tougher than previous seasons from one perspective. And we were, she was like, why? And I said, because all of the players who had injuries, all of the players who needed a mental break, a phys physical break, they, will, they were able to recharge. They were able to get healthy. They were able to spend time with their friends and family during a, a busy schedule. And, you know, they're going to come back, it, back at it 100% fully healthy, and I said it might even be harder to, you know, get through the playoffs because every single team is going to have their full roster. And uh, so it might be harder to win the Stanley Cup. And that analogy is, you know, if you put it to life nowadays, what we're going through, maybe this is a time for us to recharge, for us to make sure we are physically and mentally, emotionally, spiritually ready to go 110%. I know for myself personally, uh, although there is worry about the future in terms of work and financially and things like that, but I, I also have enjoyed this time a lot 
in terms of being able to spend time with my kids who are four and two years old, uh, doing kirtan with them, reading Gurbani with them, uh, letting them explore the world of kirtan through vajja, tabla, whether it be shane, taliya, um, doing chaur sab, spending time unrushed uh, with them. And I've also enjoyed time being able to do things that I've wanted to do for so many years, but I hadn't found the time to do uh, at home, whether it's projects at home and things like that. So one of the other things to talk about along with this is that this is a great opportunity for us as humanity to grow closer to Guru, to Waheguru, to the Creator. Satguru Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji is our guide. And Guru Sahib Ji tells us in Gurbani that this human life is a rare opportunity. And I'll just take a break here to say we've got people watching from Indonesia, from Greece, from Malaysia. Uh, this is pretty pretty wild, pretty amazing. My colleague Harpreet Pandeir from Hockey Nen Canada Punjabi is watching. Uh, Pupinder Singh Hundal from CBC News. So we've got friends and family, Prem Singh Kant from Burnaby, BC. Uh, all sorts of people from all over the world, Sangha joining us. So I want to thank you all for taking out the time. Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji and Gurbani tells us in many Shabbats that this human life is a rare opportunity for us to become one with Waheguru, to, to grow, to further ourselves. In one of the Shabbats, Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj tells us, Ke Janam Pe Patanga. And it gives so many examples of previous lives that we've had where we were different life forms, whether we were an insect or an animal or a creature in the sea. And the human form is the highest form of life on this planet. And Guru Sahib Ji gives us this guidance that what are we here to do? Well, we are here, Gurbani tells us to connect. Nam Japo, Simran Karna, to connect spiritually and finding those ways to connect with, with Waheguru Gurbani tells us again and again the significance of Simran. Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji and Gurbani tells us a, a beautiful recipe in one of the earlier parties in Japji Sahib. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji says, Gaviya, Suniya, Man Rakhiya Pao. Gaviya, sing. Suniya, with your ears, listen to what you are singing. Man rakhiya pao, and with love and devotion. So that's the recipe. So we're going to do Simran again. And what I want, would request all of us to do is, when we sing, let's close our eyes, let's focus our attention. Gaviya, we're going to sing Simran. We're going to sing Wahiguru, the Guru Mantra that Guru Sahib has given us. In a prayer for us, a prayer for all of humanity. And we're going to hear that. We want to focus on that voice that we are singing with because Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji explains to us Tun mein tihan, tihan mein janya, kahani. Tun is that, that, that voice that we are hearing, that tone, that sound current that we have created when we sing. So gaviya suniya man rakhiya pao. So let's please join again in Simran. The purpose of Simran is to kill our thoughts. Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji says, Vichar mare tare tare ut jornave. Anxiety, fear, all sorts of things we go through within our mind because Guru Sahib has written Gurbani for our mind. There's so many Shabads where the mind is the focus of what Guru Sahib is saying. We, Man mere karte nu salahe. Man mere sat ke paane chal. There are so many Shabads where Guru Sahib is talking about the man, the mind. And our mind is drowning in our own thoughts. I myself struggle with it too, so much. But when we do Simran, it, quiet, it quietens those thoughts, it kills those thoughts, so that, that peace, that tranquility we are looking for, it comes through Simran, it brings us closer to Waheguru. And Guru Sahib says, Saas Giras Har Naam Samal. So, Waheguru. When we break it up that way, it's called Saas Gras Simran. So let's all focus again together. Gaviya Suniya Man Rakhiya Pao. After one more short session of Simran, then we're going to get into some Kirtan and some Shabads.
वाहेगुरु 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 सिमरो सिमर सिमर सुख पाओ सिमरो सिमर सिमर सुख पाओ कल कलेश तन माहे मटावो कल कलेश तन माहे मटावो सिमरो सिमर सिमर सुख पाओ सिमरो सिमर सिमर सुख पाओ वाहे गुरु 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 गुरु वाहे 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 गुरु 
vai guru 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 vai For me personally when I grew up from a young age in my elementary school years I was infatuated with hockey and I was infatuated with kirtan and the earlier years for me kirtan was you know oh this is an amazing tabla player or wow that's such a cool new tal or a cool new move uh tabla was my first love you could say and eventually it became into singing i was very conscious of singing though and my my dad can tell you about this cuz he always told me when i used to take my tabla in a small town in brooks alberta of just 10000 people and i took my tabla to school a few times and my dad would say why don't you sing a shabad as well and i was like no 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 I'm, there's no way i'm singing in front of my classmates who were all non non sikhs and um but you know i reached a I guess a revolutionary moment in my life personally and I I'm pretty sure there's other people of my generation who can maybe relate to this but um once I got to about high school junior high and high school in the technology increased where there was a program called Sikhi to the Max now we have I Gurbani which Manraj Singh from Calgary is a good friend of mine also works for Sikhnet he created the app I Gurbani um and seeknet came out with all with all of these resources for translations all of a sudden when i you know i loved this shabad for the tune or my favorite kirtani uh by narendran singh jyoti kalam wale he sang the shabad in this such a unique riveting way that caught my attention so much uh all of a sudden though when i sang that shabad with the translations it it was a revolution it was a revolutionary moment for me when i went to gurdwara and i saw the shabad being sung and i participated in it but i i sung it and i and i saw other people sing kirtan with the translations it was so revolutionary because then when I, when i began to do kirtan from a from a high school age onwards i wasn't choosing my shabads based on just the tune or how i liked how it sounded or the rhythm of it i was choose i began choosing shabads that i saying based on the translation and kirtan for me became an outlet for my emotions sri guru granth sahib we're so lucky it has so much in there the secrets of life the world uh you know every emotion you have everything you go through in your life there's a shabad that can relate uh and you it guides you and it gives you courage and it gives you the stability and the guidance that you need and so gurbani for me through kirtan that became my anchor and, and that's why i'm so in love with kirtan and it's you know it makes me emotional even when i talk about it and this one specific shabad that i'm going to start off with here because during this time prayer for humanity in ardas and we're all seeking protection the shabad teri sharan mere deen de allah sukh sagar mere gur gopala when i was a, a young kid at elementary school age uh well i guess it would have been high school if i do the math now in the year 2000 i heard by narendran singh jyoti kalam wale sing this shabad in this tune and this shabad teri sharan sharan means sanctuary we're asking praying for protection from wahiguru from god teri sharan mere deen de allah deen de allah the merciful one sukh sagar mere gur gopala you are the ocean of peace my guru the sustainer of the world kar kripa nanak gun gaave may you bless me that i continue to sing your praise as rakho sharam asadi jio please preserve my honor this is an ardas for protection so i urge all of us to participate in this shabad
तेरी शरण मेरे दीन दयाला सुख सागर मेरे गुरगोपाला सुख सागर मेरे गुरगोपाल तेरी शरण मेरे दीन दया सुख सागर मेरे गुरगोपाला सुख सागर मेरे गुरगोपाला कर किरता नानक गुण गावे कर किरपा नानक गुण गावे राखो शरम असाड़ी दियो राखो शरम असाड़ी दियो तेरी शरण मेरे दीन दयाला सुख सागर मेरे गुरगोपाला सुख सागर मेरे गुरगोपाला तेरी शरण मेरे जिथे नाम जपिए प्रभु प्यारे से अस्थल सुन चौबरे जिथे नाम जपिए प्रभु प्यारे से अस्थल सुन चौबरे जिथे नाम ना जपिए मेरे गोविंदा जिथे नाम ना जपिए मेरे गोविंदा से नगर उजाड़ी जियो से नगर उजाड़ी जियो जिथे नाम जपिए प्रभु प्यारे Satguru Sri Guru Arjan Dev Ji is saying wherever meditation is done chanting of Wahiguru wherever that place is say asthal soin chobare it is like a mansion of gold in essence jithe naam na japiye mere goinda sahi nagar nagar ujadi ji ho but where wahiguru is not remembered where the creator where the meditation is not performed that town that place that home is like barren wilderness jithe naam wahiguru ji jithe naam japiye prabhu pyare se asthal soen चौबारे जिथे नाम ना जपिए मेरे गोविंदा जिथे नाम ना जपिए मेरे गोविंदा से नगर सागर मेरे गुरगोपाला सुख सागर मेरे गुरगोपाला तेरी शरण मेरे दीन दयाला सुख 
We have a lot of Sangat from all around the world. Please remember to tell us where you are watching from uh, because it's amazing to see the power of uh, Sikhnet. It's been around for so long, it's such a global website, and uh, you know, it's, the reach is, is uh, amazing. And so, it's, it's really fun to see where everyone is watching from. And so I'm going to continue on with the next Shabbat of Ardas, prayer for humanity. And this one, I think a lot of us are familiar with it. During the past couple of weeks, a lot of Kirtanis have been singing this Shabbat. Sabbe ji samal, apni mehir kar. And it's a, an Ardas to Wahiguru, to the Creator that you are the one who cares for all of the beings, the creatures, humanity. Please grant us your mercy, your kindness. You give us our food and water. Now please eliminate the poverty. Carry us all across. Ardas suni datar Hui sist tar. Please listen to this prayer and cool and comfort the world. Levo kant lagai apda sabhar. Take me in your embrace. Take away all of our pain and suffering. Nanak naam te aaye prab ka safal kar. Nanak says this shabd is by Sri Guru Arjan Dev Ji once again. Nanak naam te aaye. By meditating on Nam, on Wahiguru, chanting the name of the Lord, God is fruitful and prosperous. So let us all join in this Shabbat. We have uh, Rupinder Kaur from Vancouver, Sonia Kaur from Toronto, Kiran Kaur from New York. So, uh, and we have one from India as well, Harman Jot Singh from India, Kirindeep from London. This is, this is so cool. Tampa Bay, Florida, home of the Tampa Bay Lightning. There you go, another, another hockey shout out there. So, uh, it's great to see all of the, all of the comments from uh, people watching from all over the world. Uh, we have Kamal Preet from India. We have a few families who were traveling in India and who are stuck in India because of the coronavirus and weren't able to make it home and uh, I'm not, it's pretty late out there uh, but it's thank you for watching and uh, so this is great so let's continue on with our next Shabbat Sabbe Ji Samal Apni Meher Kar Sabbe Ji Samal Apni Meher Kar Sabbe Ji Sama Apni Meher Kar Sabbe Ji Sama Apni Meher Kar apni meher kar apni meher kar apni
पाए अनपाणी मुझ पाए दुख दान दान कर दुख दान दान कर अरदास सुनी दार अरदास सुनी दार होष्ट ठार होष्ट ठार हो श्रेष्ठ ठार सबे जी समी में कर सबे जी सम अपनी मेहर क 
कर अपनी मेर कर अपनी मेर कर वाह गुरु 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 अपनी मेहर कर अपनी मेहर कर अपनी मेहर कर अपनी मेहर कर सबे जी अपनी मेहर कर सबे जी अपनी मेहर कर वाह गुरु जी अपनी मेहर कर अपनी मेहर कर मेहर कर मेहर कर Sabbe ji samal apni meher kar And we have many others who have joined us Satvinder Kaur from Edmonton Pai Saapai Gagandeep Singh Ji Sri Ganga Nagarwale From Jalandhar, India He is watching Someone who I look up to from the Kirtan world So it's an honor to have you join uh, One other thing I wanted to talk about before I get on to the next Shabbat is, you know, I know for my own family personally, my parents, my sisters, my wife and kids, Gurdwara and going to Gurdwara, participating in the congregation, in the Sangit, is something that was so near and dear to our heart. And we are itching uh, for things to go back to normal so that we can go back to participating in the Seva Simran and Kirtan at the Gurdwara. And one of my friends in Calgary also had a post on her social uh, media saying that, you know, we took it for granted that we were even able to go to Gurdwara, be in the presence of the Guru and be with other Sangat and, and join together in singing, meditating. And I thought about that and, you know, the importance of Sangat who we surround ourselves with is so important. It's talked about in Gurbani, Satsangat Kaisi Janiya Jithe Eko Naam Vakhaniya. What should be your Sangat? Your Sangat should be people who inspire you to become a better person, people who inspire you to become closer to Satguru and Vaheguru. Know that Sangat, be a part of that Sangat that meditates on the Lord which helps us, which guides us, which helps humanity, not just us personally, but when we meditate, when we do Seva, Simran, Kirtan, we not only help ourselves, our families, but we help all of humanity. And so I was thinking about our Sangat, you know, it's so important. You, you become who you surround yourself with. But we're not able to right now go and be a part of a, of a congregation of Sangat in a Gurdwara. So our Sangat is what we create at home. It's what we do with our time. It's what we do with each other, our kids, our parents, our siblings, our spouse. And that time, one of the things that I really wanted to focus on is setting goals for ourselves that during this time where we have more free time, what are some things we want to strive to achieve in our day? And I know for me personally, and I talked about this with my friends, uh, Bayatam Jyot Singh, Yuba City, California. 
he does Kirtan and we have a Ragi Jatha. It's our passion. Uh, by Gurpreet Singh Gill from Surrey, he plays Tabla and Atam Jodh Singh Ji does Kirtan and I sit on the side. Just actually, I was drinking cha this morning uh, before this uh, Facebook Live and I said to my wife uh, Sukhi, I was like, what's the date today? It's April 11th, isn't it? And she's like, yeah, it is. Don't you know you're <laughs> like, you should know what day, what day it is today. And I thought, you know, exactly one month ago today, I had the opportunity of, an, of a lifetime where my friends, my best friends, Atam Jodh Singh, Gurpreet Singh, we together, North American born, uh, we had the honor of doing Kirtan at Siri Darbar Sahib, Amritsar Sahib, one year ago today. And, you know, it made me almost emotional at the time just thinking about it and realizing that that was a moment so near and dear to our hearts. And it was so special for us, something we'll never forget to even have that opportunity. And one month later, meanwhile, the world has totally changed. But Guru Sahib gave this love to me that this was the day that got chosen for me to do this seva and so it doesn't matter what's going on in the world we can, can we can connect and guru sahib and why guru gives us that love there's these signs we get in our lives in our lifetime these signals that why guru loves us takes care of us and so this is my ardas this is my prayer for all of humanity that we may be cured of not just this disease, but all diseases. And we may, may our minds become clean through the power of meditation, chanting, Simran, Vaheguru, Bhagti, Nam, Japana. And we, may we further ourselves spiritually and become better as humanity and as humans. And so I would like to just say, let's create our own Sangat at home. And that's one of the things that's been so fun for me is doing that with my kids, spending an hour every afternoon jamming with them on the Vajra Tavla, doing Kirtan, teaching, learning from them. They have such a passion for this. And then in the evenings doing Reras together, Simran together. That's, that's my takeaway from this, that those moments uh, with my family and my kids are so special because they're unrushed. It's like... We don't have to be somewhere. We don't have something that needs to be done by tomorrow. Um, and this is that time, that Sangat that we're creating at home. That's the message I wanted to get across. And this next Shabbat, uh, composed by Payatam Jodh Singh, California, uh, it talks about that Ardas, that Vaheguru Ardas Kari Prabh Apne Aage Sun Sun Jeeva Teri Bani May I continually Always listen and sing your Bani and be close to you. So let's all partake in this, participate in this Shabbat. For some of you who are, uh, wherever you are in the world, this might be a, uh, if, you're, if it's the morning for you, this is a Shamda Rag. Uh, but I know there's people listening from all over the world. So, Mafi Bakshyo, be Samay Da Rag, Ita Nahi Hai. And I, I'm using this as a great excuse to be able to sing whichever Shabbat and whichever Rag because there's people listening from all over the world so the time frame is all over the map. So, Ardas Kari Prabh Apne Aage Sun Sun Jeeva Teri Bani Ardas Kari Prabh Apne Aage Ardas Kari Prabh Apne Aage Ardas Kari Prabh Apne Aage Sun Sun Jeeva Teri Bani Sun Sun Jeeva Teri Bani Teri Kari Prabh Apne Aage Ardas Kari Prabh Apne Aage Mere Sahib Mere Sahib Mere Sahib Mere Sahib 
sit beside me for this Shabbat because this will be uh, the last Shabbat that I will sing and looks like we have more people who have joined us uh, Gurmastik Singh with a comment about how in the early days of Sikhnet and of course all of you know Gurmastik Singh Khalsa uh, my sister Dr. Herjot Kaur is also close with him who works with Sikhnet as well and Gurmastik Singh is saying that he would play Asadibar on Secret, Seeknet Radio and get complaints saying it's the wrong time to play it. But Seeknet, of course, with the, with the global audience, uh, it's, it's being heard and listened to and watched and read all over the world. Harjeet Singh Sidhu from Ludhiana, India. Thank you so much uh, for your comment. And I uh, recently had the opportunity to do Kirtan with Pai Atam Jodh Singh in uh, Gurdwara Sahib Dukhnavaran in Ludhiana. Ludhiana is uh, my father's uh, city, so it's my hometown in India, so great to have a listener from there as well. Taranjot Singh from Calgary watching, uh, and I see your Calgary Flames logo in the, in the comments, so thank you so much. By um, Manamon Singh from Ottawa watching as well. Uh, so many people, so much pyar in the Sangeet, and I would like to introduce you to my daughter, Aparjit Kaur, who is four years old. And, uh, you know, it's such a blessing to, and this is my son, Mohan Singh. Come over here. And so my, my daughter, Aparjit Kaur, four years old, and my son, Mohan Singh, two years old. And uh, we are so blessed as a family that Sri Guru Granth Sahib Ji and Akal Prabhu Guru uh, blessed us with children who have such a passion for Gurdwara, uh, Simran, Kirtan, Seva. Uh, and you know, I'm so proud of these guys because they wow us every day with how much Gurbani they've memorized or their pretend Gurdwara is just unbelievable. They do Prakash Sakhasan every day. They have their own mini Chaur Sahibs. They, you know, act out every single facet of Gurdwara that you can imagine from the announcements to the Tabla, to the Vajja, to the Kathas, to the Tadi, uh, to the Granthi Singh. And, you know, they take their own pretend Mara Sroop with their Ramallah Sahib and the Chaur Sahib all around the house. And, uh, you know, I, we're so blessed. And, you know, what is their biggest passion? It's, it's so amazing to see this come to fruition because uh, you know, I can see my own childhood. They love hockey as well. And we have hockey nets, mini hockey nets and hockey sticks in the living room. We have Vajja Tabla in the living room. And uh, they like to spend their time. Uh, one of their most favorite things to do is spend time in the Guru Sahib's room. 
in our house and do chaur saab and and uh, take out whatever they can on the vajan tabla and in in you know i'm so thankful uh beyond words um for guru granth saab ji for kal prakwai guru for blessing us uh with the passion that these guys have and it's just so heartwarming to see that and so i wanted to involve them um and i'm we'll we'll do our shanay taliya and everything later on cuz we get pretty wild when uh, when we're all into it but they're going to join me for this last shabad and uh, this last shabad is by gurdas i i think i saw even a request from someone in a comment um who was asking to do a shabad from by gurdas ji and uh, so this shabad is charan sharan gur ek panda jaye chal and so this is the shabad we'll end off on today and it is a a beautiful message by pai gurdas ji who says that whenever we take one step towards wahiguru towards guru then satguru ji blesses us a thousand fold satguru kot panda aage hue le tha that one step that we take towards wahiguru to take towards our spiritual journey towards meditation towards seva simran kirtan bani whatever that connects us that step that we take we receive a thousand blessings from guru saib for just taking that one step that's the, the that's the math equation my dad a uh, mathematician phd so shout out to him there and uh so dr santosh singh that math equation is pretty fruitful eh one step and then a thousand blessings by gurudas ji says and then ek var satgur mantra simran matr simran tahe baran bar gur het hai guru saib who unites us with the creator by remembering satguru ji guru saib remembers us back a million times more bhavni bhagat pai kauti agar bhag rakhe tahe gur sarv nidhan daan det hai whenever you make an offering to guru saib even if it's so minuscule just a shell to the true guru with faith and devotion guru saib blesses us with the wealth of naam satguru daya ne de mahima agad bodh namo 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 net 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 hai and this last line is in praise of satguru and in a couple of days the sik pan fall of us will be celebrating vasakhi the birth of the khalsa sri guru gobind singh ji who created the khalsa and this line is that satguru is so compassionate full of mercy full of kirpa beyond understanding and salutations namaskar namo 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 net 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 hai so we will sing this as our last shabad and this tune uh, a lot of us uh, may have heard it when we were younger a very old recording of bhai harjinder singh ji sri nagar wale uh, this is the tune that he sang it in so once again thank you so much to everyone who has joined us here on Facebook live and t- thank you to Hari Jyot Singh from Mexico who arranged this uh for me to be a part of this and uh Gurmastik Singh there's a message he grew up listening to Pai Chatter Singh ji and we we were very fortunate to have Pai Chatter Singh stay at our house when he performed in in uh Calgary it's my sister Dr. Jyot Kaur's favorite kirtani as well uh because of physical distance distancing uh we haven't shown my good friend my tabla player uh, anmol singh who has joined me for this broadcast uh but uh so he's not in the shop but thank you to him for joining us Also the shabad that we just sang uh, ardas kare prab apne aage on youtube there is a beautiful recording uh by atam jot pai atam jot singh ji and tarun kaur from uk who is my younger sister 
we have a lot of Prem uh, Pyar and she's come to uh, Canada to perform in Calgary and stayed at our house as well. Sutarna uh, Kaur and Pai Atam Jodh Singh and Pai Baldev Singh, the three of them together are singing that Shabad Ardaas Kareem Prabhap Pane Aage. I, I uh, urge you to look up that recording on YouTube because it's uh, a, uh, a thousand full times better than what you heard me sing. I've had a better version, there's guitar in it as well. So uh, please uh, look up that recording. So let's focus on this last Shabad. Charan Sharan Gur Ek Penda Jai Chal Sat Gur Kota Penda आगे हुए लेते हैं चरण शरण गुर एक पेंडा जाए चल चरण शरण गुर एक पेंडा जाए चल सतगुर कोट पेंडा आगे हो लेते हैं सतगुर कोट पेंडा आगे चरण शरण गुरु एक पेंडा जाए चल चरण शरण गुरु एक पेंडा जाए चल एक बार सत गुरु मंत्र सिमरन मात्र एक बार सत गुरु मंत्र सिमरन मात्र सिमरन ताहे बार बार गुर हेत है सिमरन ताहे बार बार गुर हेत है सतगुर कोट पेंडाया गे हो लेत है सतगुर कोट पेंडाया गे हो लेत है चरण शरण गुर एक पेंडा जाए चल चरण शरण गुर एक पेंडा जाए चल पावनी भगत भाए कोटी अगर भाग रखे पावनी भगत भाए कोटी अगर भाग रखे ताहे गुर सर्व निदान दान देत है सतगुर दया निद महमाया गाद वो सतगुर दयानित महमाया गाद वो नमो 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 नेत 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 है नमो 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 नेत 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 है सतगुर कोट पंडाया दे होए नेत सतगुर कोट पैनाया गे होए लेत चरण शरण गुर एक पैनाया जाए चल सतगुर वाहुजी चरण शरण गुर एक पैनाया जाए चल एक बार सतगुर मंत्र सिमरन मात एक बार सत गुर मंत्र सिमरन मात्र वाय गुरु 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 
Siknet for this opportunity and thank you to everyone who took out time in your schedules to participate with us and I would like to say all of the mistakes I've made many in singing Gurbani in the Kirtan in what I've said I've made many many mistakes Guru Sahib and Waheguru or Bakshanhar they're forgiving. Please forgive me for all of my mistakes to the I ask of the Sangat, Sadhguru and Wahiguru. So please continue to watch uh, the Facebook lives, the Instagram lives. There's so many ways now to connect uh, for all of us through technology. We're not able to participate in Sangat physically, but through this uh, platform, uh, it's a great way for us to connect and, and uh, you know, immerse ourselves in the Gurbani, in the Kirtan, in the Simran. Thank you once again to everyone and to Sikhnet. So this will be the end of uh, today's live session. We had uh, an audience from all around the world and I look forward to going through and seeing the comments and seeing where everyone was watching from.